Hey guys, it's uh, winter update season, and uh, we've got a, we've had a bunch of cars run through the shop this uh, this year, getting ready for the start of the season. So uh, ran into a couple things that I wanted to touch base on, and uh, just want to point out I've, I've stressed some of this in the past, but I, I want to show you a couple things that I ran into. So I'm going to give you a real quick rundown on this car. Um, we've got the cables out of it right now, but this is the fire bottle handle, okay? And if you can see right here at the bottom where there's supposed to be a pin there's a zip tie so this handle needs to move forward to pull the cables to actuate the fire bottle this zip tie has been in here for a long time all right so the reason i'm bringing this up is because this is not an uncommon occurrence and this winter it has been very frequent so we put a little tab on all these cars so that you can put a pin in there so while you're servicing the transmission or working inside the car you don't accidentally set the fire bottles off. Apparently the new trend is to take the pin out and put a zip tie in there so it permanently doesn't move. So all good unless you're on fire. All right. So now you're on fire, you're upside down, you're against the guardrail, the cockpit's full of smoke you finally realize what's going on. It's time to reach over and grab the fire bottle handle, but you've zip tied it so that it doesn't move. So maybe now you have enough adrenaline built up because your ass is on fire and you're running 200 miles an hour to break that zip tie, but maybe not. Them things are pretty strong. This one's zip tied tight. So this is asinine. You guys have to really realize that this stuff is there for a purpose and it's not to be zip tied tight so that it doesn't get actuated. So this is supposed to have a pin and a little red tag on it so that when you're making the run, when this car's running and it's in the, it's getting ready to pull up to the starting line, that pin shouldn't be in there. You don't wait till you're on fire sliding on your roof to try to pull the safety pin out so that you can actuate the handle. The handle is supposed to be accessible. Anytime you're in your driver's suit strapped in and the car's running, you should be able to pull that handle. Fire bottle should go off. So while we're doing this uh, cluster, we're doing some other service work on the car and we always, part of our standard maintenance is to check the fire bottle cables and check the fire bottles. Well, guess what? Fire bottles were in the car, no pressure. They were, they were junk, both, both gauges in the red. Who knows how long they've been like that. You guys have to seriously check this shit, okay? This is not a joke. It's not the time to figure out when you're on fire that your handle is zip tied. And even if you muster up enough strength to break the zip tie, guess what you get out of the empty fire bottles? You don't get shit, you get your ass burnt up. So check it, they've got gauges on the bottles. It's easy to look at to see if they're in the green or not. If nothing else, take them out of the car and make sure they're good. Send them into the manufacturer, send them into somebody, get it get it checked. The cables should be lubed yearly and they should be free to move. The handle should never ever be zip tied and the bottles should always be full and the gauges in the green, not the red. Okay. That means there's nothing in there. Now these bottles were still full, but they had lost their pressure. They, this car was built years ago, like 12 years ago. So the bottles have probably been in there since and have never been inspected. Well, over time, the seals probably leaked and they lost their pressure. They still had content, but guess what? No pressure. The content doesn't come out of the bottle when it's time to use it. It's not a joke, man. You have to check this stuff. You have to make sure the handle is accessible and ready to use. You have to make sure the cables are lubed up and you, and you have pressure in your bottles. It doesn't take that long. You spend all your time working on the engine and transmission and all the other shit. It takes five minutes to look at the fire bottle system. Seriously, take some advice and look at the fire bottle system. Make sure it is in good working order. That's all I got.